Um, this video is not going to be uh, fast paced or anything. Um, it's going to be quite, or it should be at least quite a chill video. So grab your hot chocolate or whatever you drink. <laughs> grab your blankets. Um, and let's answer some questions. So firstly, if you're new here, welcome. Um, or actually, I don't think anybody's really heard me talking outside of scripted videos. Um, yes, they're scripted. Um, so, hello. Uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, it's good to see you. <laughs> um, and let's get into the questions. Let's have some fun reading these. So I'm going to start with the ones on YouTube, and then I'll go to Discord. So Daniela on YouTube asks... Uh, by the way, I would try and pronounce your surname. I'm assuming that's your surname, but um, mm, I'm not. I'm not. I, I'll probably butcher it, so <laughs> I'll leave that alone for now. <laughs> um, so first question, are you listening to K-pop? Not really. I have done in the past, and it's not really something that I've stuck with for very long. <laughs> Um, I do like EXO, Stray Kids, um, BTS is okay, TWICE is okay. K-pop is really nice to listen to, um, I just don't listen to it all that much at the moment. Uh, I do go through, like, mini phases where I'll listen to it a bit more than usual, um, but at the moment just not so much. I have the odd, um... I have the odd BTS or EXO song in a playlist or something, but I don't religiously listen to them like many people do. <laughs> Second question, which sign are you? I am an Aquarius. I hope. <laughs> um, I mean, I've... The, the internet has told me that I am an Aquarius all my life, so I'm going to go with that. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that means, but we'll go with it. <laughs> Uh, what is your favorite color and favorite country? So, favorite color. This is, um, a, kind of an interesting topic for me. I do like blue, and, like, the whole blue to kind of purple kind of spectrum. I quite like universe colors, like night sky kind of, um, starry night kind of colors. Like, the those kind of colors are quite comforting, quite nice. I quite like them at the moment. Um, but I like all colors, really. Um, I think that there's beauty in all of the colors. I think at the moment, um, I'm just, uh, the blues and stuff are very interesting to me. Um, but it, it changes, you know. Um, it'll probably be different in, like, tomorrow or next week or something. <laughs> and my favorite country, I'm gonna have to say Norway. <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit biased here and say Norway. Um, Norway is very, very pretty. If you ever get the chance to go there, go there. <laughs> you don't have to go there for winter or for Christmas or anything. Um, and I guess it depends where you're going. But I would probably actually recommend going in the summer when it is not insanely freezing. Um, but I really love the Arctic city, the north city of um, Norway. Uh, which is really pretty. There's northern lights, there's mountains, there's the little city itself. There's, uh, it's, it's a lovely city. I would definitely recommend going there. But, um, yeah, Norway is probably one of my favorite countries. I don't think that I have a particular favorite. There's many countries that I would love to see and visit, and I haven't really visited too many. So I guess I can't really answer too accurately on this, but you know, for now it's Norway. <laughs> Do you have any pets? Yes. <laughs> I have two dogs. Um, and one of them, the older one, he is, he's so big and so cuddly. <sighs> I love him. Um, he's a German Shepherd cross husky. So he's so big and he's so, he's such a wimp, but but that's okay. It's 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 really wholesome. Uh, <laughs> he gets scared of everything. Um, well, not everything, but um, you know, just a little bit more than most dogs, I think. But he's really 
friendly and cute, and I love him. Um, what's my favorite animal? Ooh, okay. I had to think about this one a little bit of head, a little, hmm. <laughs> a little bit ahead of time. And I think, you know, I love a lot of animals. Um, I'm very wide with a lot of these questions, I realize. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to say wolf, because I think wolves are just very, they're really free and mm, they're quite majestic in a very vicious way. <laughs> Um, and I really enjoy that about wolves. They're really quite wonderful creatures, I think. Um, but I think I'm going to back up this point in question eight. So I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, question seven, cat or dog? 50-50. Uh, <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I'm allowed. To, yeah, I'm allowed to say that. Um, yeah, 50-50 cat or dog because I, I I don't know there's just they're so they're both really awesome I think I might say dog at the moment because I've never actually really had cats growing up um but I think you know cats are really fun you know they're playful and cuddly and whatever um but they're also more independent than dogs are um you know they, they'll just run away and then come back like few hours later or next day or something I don't know I don't I don't have cats um, <laughs> but yeah 50 50 favorite song and favorite film so I think at the moment oh, there's so many favorite songs and this changes so much but I think at the moment my favorite song is probably struck by lightning by Sarah Kay's um, her music is really, I love her music, <laughs> and this song in particular is really nice. I think it's about, um, you know, not knowing exactly what to do when you have a friend or somebody close to you that's, you know, struggling with mood or, you know, whatever it is, stress and stuff, um, and you don't really know what, how to help them or what to do, and so you just kind of go and be there with them, um, and just, I think the whole imagery of it is, like, he's laying on the pavement or something, and then she comes out, um, she's like, you know, you should come in, uh, I think he doesn't respond, so she just lays down, um, and then they're just laying down on the pavement together, um, and it's a really, it's a really cute, um, song, Cave Town's in it, um, yeah, it's a really, I w I'm, I'll leave uh, links to it in the description so that you can go watch the video and listen to the song afterwards. Um, or if you've already heard it, tell me in the comments. Yell at me, be like, yes, I love this song. <laughs> um, and my favorite film at the moment, it has been like this for a few years now, maybe two, three years. Uh, no, maybe more like two years. Um, is Wolf Children. I'm not sure if you've if any of you have ever seen it, it's like this really, really cute anime movie, um, it's, it's really wild, like, it's, it's an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> um, you will feel every emotion that you never knew that you could feel <laughs> when you watch that movie, it's, 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 you know, it's a, it's a very beautiful movie, um, I think the mom is, like, human, and the dad is, like, half wolf, half human, something, I don't know, this sounds weird talking about it, actually, um, and then I think they have children, and the, they are the wolf children, um, and then, yeah, I won't spoil anymore, go watch it, it's a really good movie, um, <laughs> but that's, like, the, the foundation of the movie. Question nine, are you looking at anime? <sighs> kind of. <laughs> Um, I really, I really need to, like, watch animes and stuff again, but I'm, at the moment, I'm rewatching Adventure Time. Oh, I love Adventure Time so much. <laughs> um, I love Bimo. Bimo is, and probably forever will be, my favorite character out of, like, everything. Um, Bimo is, ah, uh, he's so wholesome and so, so awesome. I love Bimo so much. Um... Yeah, okay, enough about, enough about my love uh, for Bimo. Uh, what's your love drink? And I'm assuming this means, like, what's your favorite drink? Um, please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, but I quite, you know, I quite like, 
It depends on the season, but I quite like hot drinks, like coffee and hot chocolate and different teas and stuff, um, especially in the winter. And I think winter has a special place, for, like I prefer winter. Um, and so I think, um, tying that in with my overall love for hot drinks, it's probably hot drinks. But then I guess in the summer, things like smoothies and stuff. Um, yeah, I would say <clears throat> coffee. Yeah, I like coffee. I've, I'm drinking way too much coffee. I'm probably gonna, you know, end up in the hospital or something. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, Alright, second set of questions. <laughs> you guys have so many questions, like each. <laughs> um, Cheryl asks, uh, Cheryl says, I have questions too. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Can you say my name? Oh. <sighs> I hope I'm not going to butcher this. Cheryl McHugh Hall. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Please correct me in the comments if I didn't, or tell me in the comments if I got that right. Um, I also subscribed because your channel looks pretty cool. <laughs> um, what's your favorite singer or songwriter? There's definitely a few. Oh, there's so many. Um, I think at the moment, you know, Sarah Kay's is very cool. Um, I actually met her at a, at a concert a few weeks ago, uh, in a city not too far from me in, in England. Hmm. <laughs> um, she was really sweet. She was really lovely. I also really loved the singing and songwriting styles of Aura and Aviva. If you've never heard of Aviva, she sung, uh, she wrote and sung, uh, Don't Blame It On The Kids and, uh, Rabbit Hole or something. Um... Her music and style is very cool. I'll probably leave, uh, I'll hopefully leave links to all of these people in the description, but definitely look up Aviva, Aviva Music or something. Um, it's, it's different. Uh, it's really, it's cool. It's a cool different. I, I, I really like it. I really enjoy it. Um, any traveling plans? If so, where? Um, I don't think so. Um, Milan. I have a long-distance, like, long-term, long-distance friend that I have not met in real life yet. We've known each other for a long time. Um, and they, they actually don't know about this channel yet, um, so maybe one day in the future, if you're watching, hello. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, um, COVID and everything happened, so I've still never seen them. So that's kind of like a vague kind of travel plan. Um, but apart from that, not, not really. Um, I do want to see a lot of places. Um, I think Norway, I want to see more of Norway, actually. <laughs> um... I want to see places like New York. Um, I don't think that I would want to live somewhere like New York or um, L.A. I think I would love to see L.A. too. There's many cities and stuff across the world. Um, I would really like to go see um, Edmonton in Canada. It sounds really, really pretty there. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> um as well as a lot of Asia. I would love to go see Asia. Um, Korea, Japan, China. But also, like, the Philippines is really interesting. Indonesia. Um, yeah, I would love to... You know, there's so many places and cultures and stuff that I really want to experience and, like, understand. Um, it's so interesting to me how, how differently we can live. Um, even though we're all, you know, the same humans, um, it's so interesting how we live so, so differently across the world, and so, so, so beautifully different, differently too, it's, you know, I, I really want to see it, it's, <laughs> it sounds exciting, um, what's your favorite TV show at the moment? Adventure Time. <laughs> um, I feel like it's always going to be Adventure Time. Um, I know I need to find another TV show one day, but 
you know, Adventure Time has like a billion episodes, so that's okay. I could just forever watch Adventure Time. And I don't actually watch TV and stuff all that much. Like, I don't actually watch Adventure Time all that much. I watch maybe like, maybe a few episodes a week, really. I don't actually watch that much stuff. Um, I want to watch more. <laughs> um, what about you guys? Has anybody else watched Adventure Time much? What's your favorite episodes and stuff? Um, or whatever, like, TV shows and stuff are you guys watching at the moment? Um, give me suggestions to, like, animes and TV shows and stuff. Um, what color would you color your hair? Okay, this is an interesting one. Because I have colored my hair so much in the past two years. Um, because I think at school I wasn't, I was never really allowed to, like, color my hair or anything. Because the teachers would always be like, nope, you're not allowed this. Um, yeah, British schools are really harsh with their rules. British schools are not the the nicest all the time. <laughs> um, and so I think since kind of not being under strict rules anymore, <laughs> like school rules and stuff. Um, I mean, my hair, I've dyed it like bright green, bright blue. Uh, it was like neon pink at one point, which was really fun. Um, I think that I would really like to dye my hair white, I think, at some point. I think that that sounds like a really fun, quite, quite beautiful color, actually. I think white would be quite nice. Um, and especially, I think, because I wear a lot of black, I think black and white would be really, or maybe I, I might split, split dye my hair black and white. That would be really fun. Um. I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, hair coloring is so much fun for me. <laughs> Although my hair is very damaged at the moment, my hair is not doing so well. <laughs> it's not. Um, it's not the best. <laughs> okay, time to run over to Discord. Where's Discord? Where are the questions? Oh, the people are still sending me questions. Thank you. <laughs> I, it, it's like one one thirty a.m. for me at the moment, and people are still sending questions. Thank you. I will read them now. <laughs> um, okay, so Vonzi. Oh, I'm so bad at names. Um, and I think that. Oh no! I know that you have a nickname. I just can't find it. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna start. Start. <laughs> I'm Irish now. <laughs> I'm gonna start throwing questions first because it's 1 a.m. and I'm bored. But anyway, when's your birthday? My birthday is uh, 25th of January. Um, Aquarius. I am a January baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, which is it's quite nice actually because I have kind of it's not too close to Christmas, but it's somewhat after. So if um, if I ever buy stuff on Christmas for myself. Um, and then I realized, like, oh, I wish I, you know, bought this thing or whatever. Then I have my birthday right there. Um, yeah. And people still give me money. Extra money so I could just buy random stuff that I don't need. Um, <laughs> what's your favorite color? I find that guys typically like blue, red, and black. So I'm curious. I really do like the color red. Uh, red is a very fun, vibrant color to me. Um, I remember I would always play around with the color red in photography, actually, because I did photography in school, and it was, it was so much fun, like, um, making everything black and white and just the red things, um, red. Like, I remember there was this picture, I might actually be able to find it for you guys, if not, then I'm sorry. Um, there was this picture that I took of, like, the red telephone boxes in London, uh, and this was so exciting to me because I never really went to London because I was, like, 14 at the time or something. And I took a picture of it, and I made such a beautiful image. Um, and I I might be able to find it, but I have not seen that image for years. <laughs> um, but I can remember it so well. Um, and so the color red, I think, will always remind me of the kind of photography. Um, I, I would love to actually do more photography as kind of like a hobby. Um, I think I got an A in my photography class, actually. I did pretty well. Um, but yeah, again, colors... I like them all. They're really beautiful. Um, but yeah, blues at the moment. Universe colors. I don't know. 
Um, what's your favorite series, movie, books? Hmm, Adventure Time. <laughs> Again, uh, I feel like this question is going to come up a lot. Uh, it's Adventure Time. <laughs> uh, and it says, if you read. I do read, not too much. Um, and I read more fiction. I like, um, I like reading kind of like poems and stuff. Poems are really beautiful. Um, there's this one book of poems that I have that I really enjoy. I think it's called, uh, Pillow Thoughts or something. And I think it's actually a series. Um, I'll leave a link for that, uh, in the description. Maybe, maybe I could even do a, a video reading you poems from my book that I own, that I bought from, I don't know where I bought it from, somewhere, a bookstore. <laughs> um, what type of songs do you like? Okay, so this is very varied. <laughs> If you already listened to uh, Sarah Kay's, that is not my only um, interest. I really enjoy, uh, like, a few different artists. I mentioned earlier Aviva. Aviva is really awesome. Uh, and Awara. They are very, they have very cool music. But then also there's a few artists like Suburban um, and uh, Grimes is really good. Uh, there's, I quite like Imagine Dragons, actually. Um, Cave Town. There's... It's a bit varied. Uh, there's a few, like, rock kind of bands and singers and stuff that I quite like listening to. Um, yeah, it's slightly more on the mellow kind of side. Um, I think because I'm quite a... quite a chill person. I don't know if that's the right word to use. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't stress very much, and so I think a lot of hardcore music just isn't always for me all the time um so it's definitely a bit more on the mellow side uh cats or dogs 50 <laughs> 50 <laughs> um what inspired you to start making and posting audios okay so um the story kind of goes is i have a few friends uh the one from uh just outside of milan actually um has talked a lot about, um, and we've talked about, like, ASMRs and, uh, like, audio kind of things before, and it, and I mean, this has been for, like, ages, like, at least a year or two, um, that I've been, like, surrounded by, like, hearing things like this, but then I actually listened to it, and I realized, oh, I'm way too analytical when I'm, you know, watching these kind of things, um, and I was like, maybe I could do this. And so I, um, I didn't actually think that I would ever post any of the ones that I first scripted. And there is one or two that will never be posted because I lost them. <laughs> um, but those were way back before when I was, um, just figuring out if it was, you know, actually something that was as fun as it sounded. And it was, it was, it's, it's really fun. I really enjoy it the entire process of making the videos it's so much fun and so that kind of enjoyment that I found I was like yeah I can keep doing this and you know I, I think when you find things that you know might sound quite good or anything and you know even if it doesn't sound good to you uh, it might sound good to somebody else and so I felt I didn't feel selfish but I felt like I needed to upload it um, and yeah, I think that's the story of how this channel came to be. <laughs> um, and look at where we are now. There's so many of you guys and you guys are so kind and so wonderful and loving. Um, I'm so glad that, you know, I did this because you guys are so wonderful. <laughs> um, and lastly, question seven, what do you prefer us calling you? Hmm... I think just Arcadian is fine. I have no other <laughs> kind of nicknames or anything. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Maneuver? Man... Man... Maneuver? Maneuver? <laughs> My English pronunciation is not 100% beautiful. Um, I'm hoping that I pronounced that right. <laughs> if not... Yell at me in the comments, or in Discord, or wherever you want to yell at me. Um, what would you describe yourself as? Hmm. 
I don't know. Maybe like, um, maybe like a very fiery rock. <laughs> if you could change something in yourself, what would it be? Ooh. I don't know. I think that I'm scared of a lot of things. I think anxiety and fear and stuff. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm quite scared of some things. I think that I would rather not be so scared of something sometimes. <laughs> Um, what makes you happy the most? I, I'm not... Um, this is a really interesting question because I don't actually know fully. I feel really happy when I'm around people that actually kind of care about me. Because <laughs> um, I've had many, many experiences with people that, you know, they, they seem like they're maybe there for you and then they're, and then they're not. Um, and I think trusting people is quite hard for me. So I think when I find people that are really nice and really kind and really caring and like actually loving and stuff, I think when I find that it's really quite nice and makes me really happy, I think. Do you have someone you look up to? Who are they and why are they your idol? I'm honestly not 100% sure if I have anybody that I really look up to. Um, I think, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, mm, I don't know. not sure I think actually maybe um there's this Roblox YouTuber <laughs> which sounds really funny um but their channel name is it's funny you may have seen them before or anything or something um but growing up I never really felt kind of family or anything and I remember I watched them a lot growing up uh, from when their channel was really small actually it was really like Ah, it goes back so many years. Um, but I really found a sense of, like, home whenever I watch their videos. And so I think, you know, that's the closest thing that I have to kind of looking up to people. And that that's kind of why. Um, what is my biggest fear? Oh, I think not taking risks that I wish that I would have taken is probably my biggest fear. Um... I don't know, because I think even, like, the, starting this channel was really scary for me. I was like, oh my gosh, what if people are mean? What if, you know? Um, and I, I just kind of, what, like, what if people that I know find this channel? And then they're like, oh, you're so cringe. That's gross. <laughs> um, and there was a lot of fear there. And I know that if I didn't, you know, take that risk of people that I know could find this channel. It's unlikely, but they could. And people could be mean. And, you know there was a risk there and I'm glad that I took it because you got like 99.9% .9 of you guys are so wonderful. Like so wonderful. I love you guys so much. Um, if you have a nickname, what is it? Arcadian. <laughs> uh, what are the things you do in your pastime? Honestly, I don't do much. <laughs> I kind of, I try to play video games here and there, but my laptop really sucks. My laptop actually, the one that I make videos off, the one that I'm recording off right now, does not actually have a screen. Um, <laughs> I have to connect it to a, like a TV screen. Um, <laughs> otherwise I can't use it. Um, I really need to buy a new one. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Um, I guess I like nature a lot in, in my pastime. As well as learning. I really enjoy learning new things. Um, yeah, I find learning quite enjoyable sometimes. When it's something that you actually enjoy, learning can be really, you know, empowering and fun. It can be fun. Wow, scary, crazy. Learning is fun, what? Um, no, I'm kidding. But I, I, I think school gives learning a really bad rep. 
school is really bad at selling learning to you. <laughs> um, and I think it's kind of, yeah, I think if you just find something that you really enjoy learning about, you know, freaking go for it. Just, yeah. <laughs> All right, Ashy asks, Ashy, Ashy, <laughs> um, please yell at me if I'm butchering any of your names, uh, asks, how are you and how was your day? My day was actually very long today. Um, it was, it was so long. I was traveling for a long time. <laughs> um, and I think at the moment I'm, I don't know, because I feel a little bit sleepy because it's, you know, it's 2 a.m., but I've had coffee, so I don't feel sleepy. So I feel quite, hmm, the space in between really alert and awake and sleepy. I don't know. That's how I feel at the moment. <laughs> uh, what country would you like to visit? No, right. Oh, um, Jonah, J Jonah, Jonah asks, what country would you like to visit? No way. <laughs> Um, many countries apart from the way, um, as I mentioned earlier, I would love to visit the entire world. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to come visit every single one of you. Let's go. I'm, I'm going to do a world tour. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, that would be really fun though, to, to just see all of the different countries. Um, any hidden talents? Um, I'm sure that I have something. Uh, I'm really, uh, mm, I like learning about brain health. The brain really fascinates me. Um, and also, uh, like the digital kind of side of business really excites me. Like learning about the different algorithms of like the different platforms and stuff is really, um, and I'm quite good at that. And it's, it's really fun and fascinating to me. That's something that I really enjoy. What's the best thing that happened to you today? Okay, so, leading on from why I'm really tired today, um, today I went to London, which isn't something out of the blue. I go to London, like, every day. Um, but I went to London today, uh, and it was in the most, un like, like, inconvenient place in London. It was, like, in, like, a really hard-to-get-to north part of London. I had to change like five times. It was horrible, um, but it was okay. And I went to see a like a theater play um, in London. That was really nice. That was probably the nicest thing that's happened to me today. I think the journey was actually quite nice. Um, then also, I think recording this video is really quite nice. I don't know what which is better. <laughs> if you know it, what are your MBTI? I think this is the Meyer. Briggs thing, isn't it? I don't know it. Um, uh, I know I'm introverted. I know... Uh, <laughs> that's about it. I've done this test so many times. Um, and I will do it again. If I've done it by the time that um, this video goes up, then I'll, you know, leave it on the screen or something. Um, but I don't know it. Tell us something we don't know. Um, I don't know. I think I've been doing YouTube since I was, whew, like, seven, six. I've been doing YouTube for at least, like, ten years. <laughs> and, I mean, at first, for the first, like, good, a good, like, two years, it was just, like, Roblox videos that had no sound. No, it was, like, it was, like, there was nothing there. It was really boring. Uh, well, actually, there was sound. There was the in-game sound, but there was no, like, audio. Um, and then I started making videos with my voice, and then it kind of slowly progressed. Uh, I never ended up sticking with any of the channels, but I kept making new channels, and then making more videos, and making new channels, um, until I made this one. And I think this one I'm going to stick with. Uh, I mean, this one is doing way better. I mean, I think I've gained more subscribers in the past month than I did in, like, ten years. <laughs> Which is kind of upsetting. <laughs> but, um... But that's okay. You know? That's... It's all kind of part of the journey, and that's that's okay. I'm, I mean, I'm here for the journey. Like, let's do it. 
like the the position that the channel is in right now i am like it, it's surreal to me like i don't even understand it as real <laughs> it feels so crazy to me especially after so many years <laughs> um so yeah there's something that you don't know i um, I've had many, many channels over like 10 years. All right, Nixie asks, likes and dislikes with doing ASMR. There are so many things about ASMR and like the audios kind of stuff that I really enjoy. Like the community, I love the, the entire community so, so much. I really enjoy the entire production of, of everything. I really enjoy the scripting. The scripting is so much fun. I enjoy the recording, actually. The recording is quite fun. Some of them I've, I've gotten really quite... You know, I've gone the extra mile for some of these videos. <laughs> like, I've actually, like, laid down, got, like, a big enough pillow and everything, and kind of... To make it sound as realistic as I, as I can. Um, as well as just learning, you know, what is actually going to make this a good video, what is, you know, what's going to make it sound better. I think learning has been something that's really been fun with uh, this channel um, so far. Um, dislikes? I'm not sure if I have many dislikes with ASMR. Um, I think... You know, it's it's quite... It's not... Like, if people were to find this channel in real life, like people that I know, I know that I would be, like, crying... <laughs> Like, screaming and crying, like, no, this can't happen. Um, but I don't think that there's many dislikes, in all honesty. And then goals that you may have for the future, short-term and long-term. Short-term, oof, I don't know. I, I don't think that I have many for long-term. I think just living as life goes and just making sure that I'm, you know, being good to myself and the planet and everybody else that I kind of meet along the way and everything. Um, I don't have too much of a long-term plan. Um, and I think short-term... I don't know. <laughs> I think I, I'm, I'm... I definitely plan a lot, but I don't plan specifically, like, in terms of, like, a timeline that I could give you. Um, but I am a planner. And then genres of music that I like. I don't know how I can describe genres, but, you know, I mentioned some of the artists earlier. Um, and the music definitely varies a lot from, like, rock to um, whatever kind of uh, genre Grimes is. I actually have no idea what genre that is. Really interesting. Anyway. Um... <laughs> But yeah, that's, um, it varies a lot. <laughs> what are your favorite... Oh, wait, uh, Sam asks, what are your favorite animes? My favorite animes are... Well, I think Attack on Titan will always have a very special place uh, in my heart because I think it was the first anime that I ever watched. I think I watched it when it first kind of came out and it was so different to me. Um, cause I think I'd never really watched anything that was in a different language, really. Uh, I mean, I had, but I just hadn't really, you know, been interested in something that was in a different language. And so this was quite new for me. And anime, cause I think animation and everything was very, you know, it's like childish and whatever. And this was not childish. This was like, you know, big giants eating people. Uh, this was not childish. This was, um really interesting and different to me and so I think Attack on Titan will always have a special place in my heart but then I think there are also a lot of other am animes um I really like um the Dramatical Murder the DMMD Dramatical Murder animated season thing that they have as well as Danganronpa's anime it's quite cool uh I I I like um I quite enjoyed the first few seasons of my Hero Academia. That was really fun. Um, yeah, those are some of my favorite animes. What's my favorite type of ASMR to make? So I actually just went through kind of like comfort zone kind of stuff. Um, 
and I found like the ones that feel the most comfortable to make um which you know good thing bad thing who knows are the kind of just the the more simple plain kind of um you know uh like boyfriend cuddles you to sleep or something or um maybe cuddling your boyfriend to sleep like those kind of ones like the very, really simple ones um but i think i'm starting to enjoy the more complicated and complex ones with more situations and stuff um so I, I expect some some slightly some slightly developed content <laughs> over the next however long i don't know yeah my favorite color um I like the blues. I like all of the colors. <laughs> what was your motivation behind starting to make ASMR? Um, I think I mentioned this earlier. I can't remember the story. Um, <laughs> if you can't remember, go back and find it. Um, <laughs> well, I can't remember the story. Obviously, I can't remember the story. I just can't be bothered to tell it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, which one do you prefer, summers or winters? Winters. I really like the the winter season. It's quite, um, I don't know, there's definitely the ups and downs. Uh, and I may, I may talk about the ups and downs someday, if you guys want to hear it. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I think that's most of the questions. I'm not 100% sure if I answered all of the questions. I hope that I did. <laughs> but there was a lot. And so, um... If you guys have any more questions, throw them in the comments, and I'll probably just answer them there. Um, but I guess until the next video, um, have a really good day, or evening, or afternoon, or night, or whatever it is in your time zone. Because time zones are so, so odd to me. Um, it's so funny how we all live at the same time like we could call somebody in a different time zone and we're you know we're on the same you know we're both existing in the same time but it's different time of day for different people it's you know i can understand it with science but it's you know it's a funny concept to me <laughs> anyway um i i hope you uh enjoyed this q a um, I, I'm interested to see how I edit this, because this is a 46 minute recording so far. Um, I'm sorry if this is really long, but, uh, hopefully it was nice. I wasn't going too fast, uh, and if you want to see more, like, Q&A kind of things, um, then make sure to let me know. Uh, there'll probably be slow kind of ones like this that can also kind of double as like a nice audio that you can just listen to kind of thing. Um, just talking. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, see you soon. Thank you so much for being here.